So we're about to show you the total renovation of the cottage, which we now call a little house because it's no longer a cottage. Let's go. See all these beautiful flowers Maurice has planted? Carol is very much into flowers. So the first thing you notice when you walk in are these beautiful floors that we had refinished. However, there's different floors in multiple rooms, so we'll have to check those out when we go in there. This room used to have two ugly sliding glass doors that were rotted. We happened to find these three windows on the property and Gil made all the window sashes and trim and it looks beautiful. It looks out to a really nice space too. We painted everything. We have a light green and we have ceilings with the white in there so it really pops all these beams. There used to be a wall here with just a tiny little door and we tore out the wall, made this more of a open concept as it were. We totally gutted the kitchen. It basically had no cabinets, so we bought these cabinets that you assemble yourselves. So I assembled all these cabinets and Gil hung them up. He put backsplash all around. We got all new appliances. Actually, the backsplash was there. I put up ceramic backsplash. Oh. And we also got this little island that I put together and put in here. It also has the beams. Eventually, we might put in a new skylight, but there is a skylight in here. All new appliances. Yeah. My mom's a watercolor artist, and all the paintings in the house are all of her artwork. She taught for 20 plus years. Let's go into the guest room. This room was a baby blue. This is a nice, bright, very friendly, sunny guest room. With new closet doors, because that closet, closet was yeah. totally open. No yeah, doors on any open. closets. Those curtains were made by Carol. By the way, we put new mini splits in every single room in the house because there was no heat or cooling in the entire house except for four wood stoves. This would be the third bedroom, but it is currently Carol's art studio. And even though she's 91, she is still painting and entering into art shows. This next part of the house used to be um, an outdoor space, probably a porch, um, but we totally gutted it as well. And it's now a huge master bedroom. Let's go see. Plug this camera in. Thought I would tell you, show you what we're up against. Now, this is at the cottage. This will ultimately be the master bedroom. This was another hideous room with all kinds of holes to the outside through the drywall and through the siding. Yeah, when we were cleaning it out, there was a bird that came in through some hole in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> we had to chase him out. But Gil has, this had a concrete floor because it was a patio 
at some point before they closed it in. So this is a manufactured um, bamboo flooring that Gil and his 93 year old at that point, he's now 94, father helped with. These two closets are two huge six foot closets that were also wide open, full of junk. Oh, that's pretty sad. You gotta look at this every day. Look at that. It's too bad they don't have a better view. We're gonna go into a bathroom that was brown, 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 and brown. It was dark brown. Toilets, sink, tub, totally gutted this down to the studs. Okay, so we're going into what is now a bright bathroom. We have new tile floors. This all went down to the studs, so we were able to add cabinets that go in the wall. Nice bright sink, bright paint, walk-in shower, new toilet. It's just a new space altogether. It was so dark. Then we're going to head outside. Yeah, let's a... show them this really cool patio. Yeah. Through the sunroom. Well, ladies and germs, this is supposed to be a brick uh, floored patio at the back of the cottage. warm out here today. Nope, it's hot. Okay, it's hot. But this is a could be a beautiful space. It's got a little uh like a uh, fireplace. Yeah, it's like corner. a corner. So, yeah. I mean, fireplace. If, if his parents won't use it, but maybe somebody'll use it eventually. All the siding was in really poor shape, and so it got sanded and pressure washed and Painted. It looks yeah, great now. Yeah, terrible view. Got a really nice patio, brick patio here. It was covered in weeds. Maurice did a great job scraping it off, pressure washing it, and planting all these beautiful flowers around the outer edge. Wow, it just looks spectacular. I haven't even seen all these flowers. This is great. Well, thank you for joining us on our tour of the renovated cottage. We hope you will follow us on YouTube, Restoring Our 1812 House, as well as on Facebook. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, please like and subscribe to follow our journey.